Welcome to this Hive course on easily capturing information using Hive Forms. We'll be taking you on a tour of the Hive Forms library, how to create a Hive Form, the available form question types, and how to map the questions in form to your desired location. Let's get started. Let's begin with the Hive Forms library. The Hive Forms library can be accessed from either the Hive Apps page, where the Forms app can be pinned to your left-hand side navigation bar, or from the blue New button in the center of your Hive page and clicking on the Request Form area. The Hive Forms library lists all of the forms that have been created in your workspace and is also the place to go to create new forms. In the Forms library, you can view the existing forms and click into the user view of each. You can see information on who created the form and when. Click the Copy URL button to copy the URL of the existing forms to share them internally or externally. Click on the pencil icon to edit the forms copy or delete the form, as well as view statistics of the forms that have been submitted. You can also use the pin icon to pin the form to the new button dropdown so that it can be accessed more easily within Hive. To create a new form, click on the Create New Form button on the upper right hand side of the edit page. This takes us to the back end of the form where we can give it a title, add questions to the form, and determine where the form goes when it is submitted by users. At the top of the page, we can add a title and description to the form to give our users more direction on completing the form. Keep in mind that as you build your form, be sure to periodically save your work as the form does not auto-save. Along the left-hand side of the toolbox section are question types that we can add to build out our form. Some of the most heavily used question types are the single input, checkbox, radio group, text area, and file question types. Additionally, there are more advanced question types for dynamic users, dynamic projects, dynamic labels, and dynamic priorities, which pull and select options and information based off of the properties within our workspace. We can add questions to our form by clicking on the question type from the toolbox section. Once a question is added, we can click on the Edit option for that question and control where the information gets mapped to when the form is submitted, as well as the selection options for multiple choice type questions. For example, let's add a drop down question type and set it up in our form. We can give it a title, determine if the field is required for submission, and then can determine where the values get mapped to when the form is completed. We can have the submitted values mapped to the description section of the action card, mapped to the action card custom fields, and or map to the project custom fields among other options. Next, let's create the options available in our question under the choices section. As a pro tip, using the fast entry tab is the easiest way to add the values and supports pasting the entries from other areas. Once we have built out our form with our questions, we need to determine what happens to the submissions of the form once they are filled out. This is configured under the Submit To section. The first option, each time a form is submitted, it will be added to a selected project, gives the option to create a new action card in a designated project with the filled in information each time a form is submitted. Using this option, we can designate a specific project for the entries to go into, assign designated people to the created action card, and even have an action card template automatically applied to the action card that it gets created. This option works best for new intake requests and ticketing system entries. The next option, each time a form is submitted, a new project will be created with the following members, will create a new project automatically for each form submission. You can designate which users are automatically added as members of the project and even automatically apply a project template to the new project that gets created from the form. This type of option works well for new project creation. Additionally, there are options to have a record of the form submission be sent to select people, an option to send a copy of the form submission to the submitter, the ability to require signing into Hive in order for the form to be submitted, and an option for the form editing to be restricted to the form creator and Hive admins. Once the form is created, it can be accessed from the Hive Forms library, where it can be pinned to the new button dropdown within Hive for easier access, as well as shared externally using the copy URL option. New form submissions will be routed to the designated places based off of the form mapping, where they can be actioned further as needed. 
Thank you for joining this course on easily capturing information using High Forms. We gave a tour of the High Forms library, how to create a High Form, the available form question types, and how to map the questions and forms to designated locations.